guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, also known as Slaterella. We are gonna get into this palette that literally like I completely overestimated but somehow underestimated how beautiful this actually would be. This look literally could not have turned out any better. I'm just like in absolute shock on how gorgeous this is. Low key, this might definitely, it is. This is definitely a Jaclyn Hill tribute video. She's done a lot for me as far as makeup and you know I had a hair catastrophe about two years ago and decided to go red all thanks to her. Today we are going to be using this. We're also going to be using her highlighter and blush palette that she has with Becca Cosmetics and then I did use her L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara that she definitely turned me on to so I really really hope that you guys enjoy this video but this definitely is a video that I'm going to dedicate to her. Hopefully one day I will get to meet her. I would absolutely love that. But let's go ahead and get into this look. Like always, make sure that you guys do subscribe to my channel before you leave. Well, since the noon bell rudely interrupted what I was saying, let's go ahead and get into this Jaclyn Hill X Morphe brushes makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed. This palette is literally everything. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna get into. Do I even need to say anything about this palette? I've had it for about four or five days. It's just been sitting in my makeup room, just waiting to be filmed with. So I don't really exactly know what I'm using today because we're just you know gonna try it out. So let's go ahead and like open this up. This is what she looks like. I have one complaint: white. I don't really like the fact that it's white um, just because it's gonna get dirty. I mean, anybody who knows makeup, like this may look glamorous, but like the inside of my drawers do not look so glamorous. And then um, it comes with all of the shade names on the back. Um, I did open this and I did swatch the green down here just because it was kind of like calling my name. But other than that, I really haven't tried anything else. They are pretty much brand new. This is one of those palettes that you can do fun, you can do more toned back, you can do mattes, you can do glitters, you can do golds, you can do pretty much whatever you want. We're just like basically gonna wing it today. I think I'm gonna do something to kind of go with my clothes today. We're gonna go to the dog park later with my Penelope. I think I'm gonna do something a little bit more wearable and then we'll go from there. So I think I'm, I'm really, really drawn to, I think this is shade Sissy, which is this shade right here. So I'll swatch it for you. It's pink. And then it has like a has like a gold reflect in it. It's super super gorgeous, and it's like it just feels really really nice. First things first, let's do some transition colors. So I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is shade M F E O. So I'm gonna go in with that shade right there. Mm, I don't like that brush right now. So I'm actually gonna go in with a Wet and Wild blending brush. that all up in my crease and I don't know why but like I really thought today I would just channel Jacqueline even this shirt I feel like is very Jacqueline-esque so I decided what better way to pay tribute to her than to just kind of have all Jacqueline Hill vibes you know what I mean these colors are blending out super super well so I'm gonna go into this shade right here the shade is called buns and I'm gonna kind of just take it a little bit lower and kind of keep it more towards the edge back in with that other blending brush so I'm going to take this is a Royal and Lang nickel brush it just has like a smaller little end so I'm just gonna take that just to put this shade into my inner corner take the blending brush I'm just going in small circular motions just to kind of blend it all out and then I'm kind of connecting it right above. Then I think I'm going to take the shade right next to buns. It's called Jax. It's a little bit more of like a red cranberry. I'm going to take it on my smaller Morphe blending brush and just coat my brush. Girl, that is 
lot of pigment. Same thing, I'm literally just gonna pack it right into the crease. And if it's starting to get kind of weird, like when you're blowing that out, just do what Jacqueline does. And I'm just gonna take some setting powder and I'm literally gonna go from here Oh, so I'm gonna go back in with the first shade, which let me find this, which is the MFEO blending brush. And I'm literally gonna take it and go right above all of those shades. I'm gonna buff everything out. One more darker color i'm gonna go into um chip right here which is like this cool toned really pretty like brownie purpley color it's really really gorgeous so i'm gonna take that on the same brush and same thing i'm literally just gonna keep it really low towards my lash line blow it out so it's just like a little little bit darker Go in now with a clean blending brush. There's nothing on this. This is just a tart blending brush. And I'm literally just going to go over everything with a quick one too, just to kind of blow it all together. Then I'm going to take some Too Faced glitter glue and I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand, just a little bit. And I'm gonna apply that to the center of my lid. And I'm going to go into that um, sissy shade. Then I'm going to take, again, my small blending brush. I'm going to go back into that cranberry shade. And I'm literally just going to lightly blend the edges together. Yes, Hunty, that is beautiful. And I just went back in with the Jax shade and I just blended everything together. So now that our top lid is done, we're gonna move on to the bottom lid. And I'm going to take, this is a e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow C brush. It's like a smaller like packing brush. But I actually really, really like this brush for the lower lash line. So I'm going to go back in with the Jax shade. And I'm literally going to just pack that right on the outer edge of my eye. Like smoke out that outer edge. Take a clean blending brush. Then I'm going to go back in with that, that smaller detailing brush with um, Sissy on it and I'm going to take a little bit more glitter glue, literally go right underneath where that color is on the top. I'm just going to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to take a, this is technically an eyebrow brush, but it's just like, you know, like a liner brush. I'm going to go back in with Jax. I'm just gonna softly buff out. Then I'm gonna take the in light shade, put that in my inner corner. I'm sorry, inner corner highlight. Who? What? That is insanity. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to apply some mascara and lashes off a of camera and I will see you guys in just a little. All right, so I went ahead and I put on some L'Oreal. This is the Waterproof Voluminous, which if you guys watch Jaclyn Hill, you know that this is one of her favorite mascaras. So that is on my lower lash line as well as my top lashes. But then I do have the Huda Beauty Samantha number seven. Um, let's go ahead and let's put the rest of our face on. So I'm gonna take my Milani baked bronzer this is in shade soul that into our cheekbones like seriously guys i cannot even believe how gorgeous this makeup look 
turned out like are we serious like is anybody else just like in absolute like shock on how gorgeous this look is just me i'm i'm thinking about turning this like palette and in, into like not like a huge series but like maybe doing like five or five or maybe like ten makeup looks you know i could do like wedding and i could do you know like daytime and i can do smoky and i can do colorful makeup looks like using this palette and we'll just do like a little series, the ja you know, the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill makeup palette series. So if you guys think that you'd want to see something like that, go ahead and leave me a comment down below or even just like the video. If, if that's something that you'd be interested in, let me know. Let me know what looks you guys want to see when you do comment down below. That'd be great. I'd really appreciate that. That series a reality if it's something that you guys would be interested in. Just to keep the theme going, I'm going to go into my Becca Cosmetics X Jaclyn Hill. This is a blush and highlighter palette, and I'm actually going to be using the blushes in here, and then I might take this, like, it's a blush, I believe. It's a, it's a, it's a blush, but it's very, war like, a warm-toned bronze. So I'm going to take a little bit of that on a Morphe blush brush, and I'm going to take that middle shade, I'm going to take that middle shade right here. I'm just going to buff it, like, right which these are pigmented. Like if you've never used this, it's pigmented. And I'm just gonna buff that like right along my contour just to kind of warm up my face. And then I'm gonna dip in with the same brush, I'm gonna dip into both of the blushes. And I'm literally just gonna start at the bottom of the apple of my cheek and I'm just gonna start buffing it upwards. I'm gonna go in between Champagne and Prosecco Pop and highlight to fill. Then I'm going to take Jeffree Star's I'm Nude. Like I said, if this palette or this look doesn't scream Jaclyn Hill, I don't know what does. Alright guys, well that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Definitely know that I did. Um, make sure that you guys do subscribe to my channel before you leave. Check Jaclyn Hill's channel out if you're not familiar with her. But yeah, like I said, this is definitely a Jaclyn Hill tribute video. If everything that I'm wearing have my hair done, I, I mean, it's definitely messy. It's very humid where I'm at right now. Products that I use, stuff like that, does not scream Jaclyn Hill. I don't know what does, but she's definitely someone that you guys need to check out. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel before you guys leave, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!